Now they calling me the big dog. Yeah, they try to get me picked up. Let me never like 14. But I came back, bitch, strong. And I've been on a mission. I've been by my business. I will not be defined by nobody's prison. Uncle Law on the board. What it do, fam? Yeah, what it do, what it do? Yeah, we gonna get straight to it today. Hey, hey, I got some things. Bam, I got some things on my mind. And I know I ain't crazy. Like, real talk. I know I'm not the only one thinking like this. So, what I'm gonna do is die into something deep. Okay, check it out, fam. Stay with me on this now. I'm explaining some things because I want to simplify everything. I don't need nothing to be complicated. I don't need nothing to be complicated that I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go into detail about the Tupac situation and them locking up KPD. First of all, I've been with Tupac. I was with Tupac way when he was with Digital Underground. I was rocking him when he was on their album before he was even solo. Like, man, y'all better y'all better go listen to I Get Around, boy. Look, that's some of his first stuff coming on the scene. He was rocking with them boys, man. And I was rocking that. Y'all got to go listen to that album. They got an album called Sex Packets, man. Them boys were stupid back then. So before Tupac even blew up, I had knew about him when he was rocking with them boys Digital Underground. Humped it, doing the Humpty dance. Anybody that, hey listen, anybody that grew up on hip hop back then, know when them boys came, they came out of nowhere. They came with a whole new sound. They came with a whole new genre. They, they took music, bro, to a whole, whole nother level we ain't never even seen before. They had everybody doing the Humpty Dance. What is y'all talking about? But get to where I'm get to the point of where I'm trying to get it. And I ain't gonna make this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut straight into it, like real short into it. So, okay. So, they done arrested Keep It D. For some, we didn't already been people that's listen, people that's in the music and been into this music. We we've been knowing what's been surrounding around everything that's going on. So a lot of the stuff that Keefe D talking about, people, that stuff been up in the streets, man. But to throw y'all into something now, first of all, I'm gonna tell you the problem I got with it is that number one we gotta think in the it, it, if you was riding with tupac if you grew up in tupac whether you agree with everything he said in his music or not is the thing is that it, it you were just one of them people man his music it always gave you good vibration even when he was rough on the edges man his genre was on a whole nother level, man. The man vibrations was on a high level. Now he was we knew that Tupac was a chosen one. See what I'm saying? That's 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 what we know. Even though he he got off track and he got around the wrong dudes and it cost him, see, a lot of times the decisions we make can cost us at Tupac got around the wrong dudes man and and it cost him bro you see what i'm saying and i say that to say man you know what i'm saying 
we as chosen ones, we got to be careful on how we move because it's so many, look man, it's so many boundaries, it's so many ways that you could be taken out. And see that devil wanna, that devil man, he wanna get you any way he can, any way that devil can eat off of you, man. He gonna, he gonna be down and rotten, bro. Dirty than a motherfucker. Listen to what Uncle Lowe telling y'all. But to get to what I'm talking about, I'm trying to take y'all in. People know, people understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Just to bring you in into what I'm talking about in reference to, to the Tupac stuff. Tupac, he was in the streets, man. So his his mentality was that he wanted that shit to really just stay in the streets. Whatever happened, happened. He didn't want nobody to go, hey man, they got videos out there where they saying exclusively. Tupac was the kind of guy that didn't believe in no snitching. So the thing is that, look man, I'm not here to judge Keefe D on the information that he gave to the police because he very well could have been lying. Like, I don't, I don't put, this just me, man. I don't put no 100% faith into everything one man is saying. Especially when you, when he get the, any man, bro, whenever anybody get the expressing themselves along the way and they have a self-expression going on and they sharing it with the universe, listen to what I'm saying, man. I'm digging into something real deep. What I'm saying is, man, you got to be mindful on what you put out into the universe. Damn! Listen, when it come to me, that's the wall that I had to tear down because I wanted to make sure, man, coming on this motherfucker, I got, hey, man, you got, listen, get your shit together, man. You see what I'm saying? You gotta be mindful, man, on what you're putting out into the universe because these, these youngsters, man, they watching you. They learning certain things from you. And when you put bad energy into the universe, you dumping that on, on the generations, man. That's why it's important, man, that you be specific and mindful about the music that you be putting out there. Listen, man, I know somebody rocking right now in Dallas, man, but you got the goddamn bag back, bro, from telling everybody every time that they have, listen what I'm saying, every time somebody have something different going on somewhere else, man, that's different than you don't mean, bro, to go get your gun, everything some of y'all exclusively be talking about sometimes, Y'all be acting like you can't move without having to grab your strap or talk about your strap. But say, I'm gonna tell you something. Listen, this Uncle Low man finna give y'all some game, man. You don't supposed to be out here talking about your guns like that, man. No, no, not using the energy the way that you using the energy. Damn, bro. Y'all gotta be careful, man, what you put out there into the universe. And this exclusively, what happened being that Tupac man got around some cutthroat dudes, you see what I'm saying? You up in they mix, they up in your mix, and it's the danger zone, man. Any Anybody can be killed, man, easily, man, when you get into that type of lifestyle, man, where, where everything, man, is based on we got to kill, bro, to survive, man, and it don't even supposed to be like that, bro. That shit not normal, man. That's not living in a state of peace and tranquility, man. That's not living in no normal lifestyle, man. You living, Park living that lifestyle, man. What I'm saying, you gotta listen to what I'm saying. Park living that lifestyle. Sometimes, man, when you get caught up with the herd, man, you can get slaughtered. You can get killed out here in this world, man. And so the thing is, Every area, man, is, is you got to be mindful about the locations you're living in because everything ain't safe. Now, where I'm staying at, as as, as I done seen some things go down, but I don't I don't be out there like that. I'm pretty much everything's 
feel safe with me out here in the South D. I'm doing good, man. Look, I wake up every day, bro, look, <laughs> with a smile on my face, tapped in with the universe, man. Look, I've been, people that know me, man, I've been like this, man. Look, every day I wake up, man, and I try to have a smile on my face. And let me get to something about the Tupac situation that I want to say, man. And this might ruffle some feathers, man, real quick. But that's all right, man. It don't matter. The truth is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. How somebody feel about it, that ain't my business, man. It's just my business, man, to make sure that I talk about it, that I speak about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, I can't hold back this type of information. So this is the thing that crazy about the Tupac situation. So, okay. So now all of a sudden these people, they want to arrest Keefe D based on him telling his story on what happened. My thing is this here. Why lock Keefe D up now? We need him to continue on telling his stories on what else done happened. Listen, man, y'all so quick to make an arrest now for some man that shit is so goddamn old. Y'all don't even see the big picture, man. We want to hear the whole story, man. Us Tupac fans, at this point, man, that shit was almost 30 years ago. Now y'all gonna get Keefe D just for telling his story? Come on, man. I'm not even in my feelings like that no more, man. That shit was almost 30 years ago. I just respect the man. And listen, this is, uh, this is the one thing I know and I know for sure. Hell with it. I'm not going to discredit everything everybody else talking about. But for somebody that that day that was there from point A to point Z that could tell a story, ain't nobody going to give more of the goddamn story than Keefe Goddamn D. That's like y'all trying to tell me about my motherfucking journey. And, but I ain't here to tell it. Unless somebody else is involved in my journey on a day-to-day -day base, bam! You can't you can't sit up and say you you know this, you know no, nah, you don't know it. How the hell if you wasn't there that you know more than somebody that was? That don't even make no sense. So far as credibility go, Shug ain't talking. Tupac wasn't doing no talking when he was dying. He look, he went out on his shield. So if you respect Tupac. Respect his shield. Respect his shield. Hell, man, I'm going to tell you something. If these folks is for real about, about arresting people for crimes they didn't commit, man, it was it's so many people that ass need to be in jail right now, locked up in prison, bro. Don't let me start with this dirty-ass country, all this stuff going on that these people getting away with, man. Come on, man. Who the hell? Come on, bro. Make some goddamn sense out of it. If they really gave a damn, listen what I'm saying. If y'all really gave a damn, Dr. King would have been protected at all costs. He wouldn't even have got killed. Him, JFK, or Malcolm X. If the goddamn government gave a damn, come on, man. They can protect whoever they want to protect, bro. They can let... Come on, bro. Come on, man. Let's start. Let's... Come on, man, let's start, man, these folks, listen, man. One thing about me, I'm not stupid. Oh, I know what the hell I see, I know what I hear. I know what I'm comprehending in life. I know how to put pieces to the puzzle together on a whole lot of things. Let me tell you something. If justice would meant that much to them people like that, because man, they could have, them people could have been solved that case, man. If that's what they really, really wanted to do, but Listen, stay with me what I'm saying about this, man. Just listen. Stay with me. Okay. Pops to me. Listen to what I'm saying real quick. Okay. If, if it would have really meant that much far as justice go, man, all that stuff back when Malcolm X was killed, uh, it wouldn't have never all these conspiracies. Like, the government, man, they damn look. They always know what the hell going on, man. They can always forensics and shit man look they got all kind of shit bro to solidify anything that they trying to get man and get an understanding about listen man that's how listen man 
them people got went over and got and got being led in a whole nother country. What make you think they can't get your ass right here? Man, look, them people, man, that they took Emmett Till. This is what this is. This is the point I'm making now. If they really gave a damn, the people that was all involved in that Emmett Till shit, they all would have got locked up for that shit. They all would have paid for their crimes of hate. It's a little boy. It ain't never, that family ain't never received no type of real, man, look here, it ain't nothing you can do to bring they, them people's son back, man. That's the most priceless thing in the universe, bro, is not what they call themselves feed you or giving you after something that happened, man. Come on, bro. Nobody's supposed, we in the universe, bro, where peace supposed to be practiced, bro. The people from the top on down to the bottom supposed to all be practicing the same thing. The thing is, we got a bunch of goddamn devils. What I mean, bro, we got a bunch of devils lurking, man. So you got to be mindful. You got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You thinking you free, bro. Free from what? Anybody can get it, man. They just pick and choose, man. That's all I'm saying. Did you know that hypertension and heart disease kill more blacks than anything else in America? I didn't know that. I thought it was the police. <laughs>